trumpet scales. I imagined the land for years prior to my boots sinking inside it, as if my community had already met to plan for my arrival, drinking hot soup around the door of a caravan and arranging topographical clues, like simple language spoken into my fastened ears that has settled inwards. Come to think, I am changing my habits in recognition of new familiarity, arriving at a meeting place on time and soaked from weather. The way in which the North Sea has reshaped land and the way in which the Dutch have reclaimed land and the way in which the sea will take land back is community. The reconciled have it in them to experiment. Land commands this prescription. Land is haphazard unstable and fertile. Land is flat. It is principled and it is desolate despite its dependence on ecology. Land is low, strewn, bursting. Land is flooded. Consumed, I am sinking into the mud. I am pulled out by a mysterious walker wearing wool trousers and big brown boots who mumbles about a battle from the early Middle Ages, here where I am sinking, when everything disappears. I smell my fingers, which have changed consistency. Consider the herring. I sat along the banks of the proper centre, my legs hanging above the water when I cried stingingly. Of all of loss to come, we must not forget the loss of the herring. Herring are humble fish of intricate design that have formed land, countries, and entire civilizations. Overfished, banked. Low Z. I had the impression we were driving over the moon on a foggy February night. The endless dark drive. Memory submerged in fish stock and brittle frozen prawns, their little arms snapping under the weight of hot water, pinking heavy sky, leaning. Dancers move nowhere against the rising wind. The start of the long night and the new tide was already tired. The motion of the old tide had forced an impression. Dead tired. Shoulders slope into ceramic bathtubs, barely covered, hardly rich. Lukewarm and lime scaly. Comb out worm paths in dear children's hair, riddled with mud. Dear children, this is not what they will teach you in your geography lesson. How to prepare for bed. Lesson one, how to detect changes in the wind. Observe familiar movements. Go to your local cinema. Tell mum and dad how the film was after. Depressions. Observe suspension of familial ebb and flows. Domestic reliance. Observe primitive parental and family animal behaviour. Realignment. Observe personal response to the unfamiliar. Which songs do you sing, if any? Low K. Keith was baptised by the jetty. It was announced in the school at morning assembly. The palms of child hands purpled cold and patterned with grit. Maybe it was some sort of offering, appeasement of tumultuous weather, an excuse to bring families together to exchange things, emotional practices, cheap hot dinners in front of TV sets, chit chat, prefabs, and have you seen the cat? Have you seen what's happened here? Keith was supposed to run before the relay, before the field, well, you know, you've seen it. Hi A. No one could say where the land ended and the sea began. Hundreds of chest of drawers hung wide open, split silos, saltwater mar marshes foaming at the mouth with brackish waste, doorknobs, sodden wallpaper, cattle, ruined card games, bedsheets, spoiled, busted bikes, bloated, floating worms. I knew the land for years prior to my bones inside it. Decay matters more than life. It is true that in the winter everything has sunk and in the summer everything is sinking. I talk to bird watchers while I roll jelly green sea glass between my fingers until it is round and frosted enough 
for my earring collection.